He could have been all like, let me go back or something. The first Uber when we went to Magic Kingdom, that guy was nice because remember I had to go back because I forgot my um uh, passport. Yeah, your ID. Mm -hmm. Is it cold here? I feel like it's like. Okay. It's always cold in our office. In I call it the office, morgue. Yes. <laughs> it's like a morgue in here. I never know what the temperature is outside. But outside it was cold. beautiful yesterday, and today it was beautiful outside. Today it was really cloudy though. Mm -hmm. It was expect they were expecting rain, but no. No cigar. Oh, Mary says, you know, we love you. <laughs> I didn't, no one cared to message me. <laughs> and she was really freaking out. And then she, I uh, let her borrow my phone and she texted her sister. And her sister found the phone in the hotel. Well, I really thought that was like on the bench that we were sitting on mm -hmm. outside the hotel. <laughs> oh, that morning? Yeah. So I was like freaking out. I was like, what if it's there? What if somebody took it? Yeah, and then we had to throw our coffee away, but it wasn't very good coffee. <laughs> How's your dad? He's doing okay. He's doing okay. For the most part, he can walk. He can talk. Uh, he can't talk well. That's probably the thing that was affected the most. But uh, all his daily activities, he does them on his own as well, which is probably really, really great. Look at that beautiful ballerina now. And it's pretty excellent. It just makes such a fast and easy application. And then we apply press on gel on the inside. Who was it that, like, we went in, and they're like, can't take your drink with you, and I was like, okay, throw it away. <laughs> a lot of rides were like that. Yeah. Every ride. Remember, we would wait in line, and then the rides would break. Yeah. That happened to us, like, three times. We were in line, and we were like, why is it taking so long? And it's like, oh, the ride broke down. It was a roller coaster. Yeah. Well, I was like, great, Lena, we're gonna, we're gonna go flying across Florida. I don't know if you noticed the line. Like when it broke down, mm -hmm. it went down the stairs and then it went under. Mm -hmm. So I like was staring at like the line grow. <laughs> Just get longer and longer. Yeah. Oh my god! Remember when we were in line for the Snow White um roller coaster? Mm -hmm. And then we were like, "Are you guys gonna let us on? Uh, let us get on the ride, or is it broken, or what's going on?" And the girl's like, "Yeah, I don't think it's gonna go on again." And then we ran out to uh, Space Mountain. Yes. <laughs> we rode your favorite ride twice. And then we asked, and we're like, uh, "I'm tall." Which seat is comfortable because I don't want my knees and my neck. <laughs> so uncomfortable. I will, hopefully, God willing, I'll be able to go to New Zealand in June for the event that we have planned. Hint, hint, wink, wink. All my Kiwi girls. Daryl was very busy. She's going to be in Avatar 2 and 3. You know, we just gotta give it time to. It didn't happen that long ago. It was in November when he had a stroke, so he's having a pretty speedy recovery. He loves to laugh, though. And he's really into his dogs. But um, all the outside dogs, unfortunately, we are going to uh, surrender. Is that the word? Sounds horrible. Concede to a uh, non kill animal shelter the Humane Society of Southern Arizona because we can't take care of them. He can't take care of them anymore. And uh, my mom can't take care of the outside dog. So we're going to uh, <laughs> hand him over to a no-kill no shelter and hopefully they'll be able to be adopted. Bobby says, can I be Lena's travel <laughs> <laughs> You're going to massage Lena's feet at night. My feet hurt so bad. I was like, Lena, do you just soak in the bathtub and cry of pain? <laughs> and she said, yes, I do, actually. Sleep in the bathtub. <laughs> You're like, are you gonna drown? I was like, no. <laughs> that tub wasn't that big. <laughs> Sarah says, when will you visit Trinidad? I don't have any plans yet, but I would love to. Are you guys gonna have carnival this year? In Trinidad? Your dogs are the one outside or chihuahuas, right? Uh, two are chihuahuas and I think I want to say like five or Chinese Crescent Chihuahua mix. Mm -hmm. And one palm. So unfortunately, um, my dad used to take care of them because he loved animals, but we just have the two inside, well, the two inside dogs, which are Peaches and um, Milan. And they're smaller, so it's easier for us to take care of them, but we can't have so many dogs anymore. Mary says I want one of the Chihuahuas. <laughs> Come on down to Arizona. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Yes, come on down. <laughs> They're great pets. Do they answer? Or did they call you back? The Humane Society? Because if I take them to the um, county, I don't want them to get put down. Are they in health problems? No. Nope. They're outside health problems. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's in the works. If the border opens up, yes. We're going to do a tour of both Down Under and New Zealand. Mm -hmm. I haven't been to Australia like in two or three years almost. It feels like a long time. But I love Sydney, Melbourne, uh, Perth. Uh, what's the other city I've been to? Gold Coast. Surfer's Paradise is stunning. Brisbane, Bris Vegas, they call it. Yes, I learned that next time we like travel, I'll need a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take this now for one minute inside the dazzling darling level. Look at that application, isn't it flawless, you guys? So easy with the express technique. We're gonna bake that for one minute. I need to get me some new batteries. This one, she's new batteries and fresh batteries. Cause she's been all over the world. Brownie points to who can ever guess what I just drank right now. My favorite drink. Let's see how well you guys know me. Yeah, they, they are going to charge me, actually. The animal shelter will take them, too. Hello. Did it do one minute already? Yeah. That was fast. <laughs> Everyone's crystal light. Mary. Yes! Wow! Mary got a <laughs> Love crystal light. Strawberry, wild strawberry with caffeine. That is my signature to go drink. You didn't drink it when we were traveling? No, I didn't take any with me. I should have. But it smells really strong. So we're going to take Fantastic Fowl in 180 and we're going to tailor the nails and give her that 80s squabble look. If the inside has a matte finish like this, a satin finish, then they are pre etched. If the inside is shiny, then they are not pre etched. I'm gonna go a nice 80s squabble look. I'm sorry, Sam, I can't read the Spanish. <laughs> that well. <laughs> so to get a nice squabble, all you do is you hold the file at a 45 degree angle and just very gently squabble, squabble, squabble. Hi, thanks for joining us today. We're giving you Squabble Ballerina realness today. Very, very soft.
And now let's blend in the cuticle. Let's use our famous mixer bits. But first, let's use the pink carrot bits. Twenty-five thousand RPM. I always like to leave a tiny little space at the cuticle area, super, super tiny, so that way that drill bit can really go in there and blend in the line of demarcation. And just give you a softer finish. This will help get rid of that press on kind of look if you want the nails to look a lot more sculpted than a, than a regular press on nail. Do you know what I mean? Because it'll be more tailored at the cuticle area. But some people like the press on look, so it really just depends on your personal preference. Now I'm gonna use a mixer bit and I'm going to blend it. Go in, blend, 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 blend. The great thing about the mixer bit is it will never ever hurt the nail because it is extra, extra fine. Beautiful, look at that blend, so stunning. So now I'm gonna take the buffer. I just dropped cookies. And remove the shine off the top surface of the nail. Um, no, I think the two that we have is more than enough. Um, and we have so many gel polish colors that I don't think it's really necessary. It's kind of excessive and you can use a pink also if you want to add more color to the nail bit prior to your press on gel application. And a pink comes in six colors and we actually will be adding more later this year. So now we're going to turn the hand upside down. We're gonna bevel out the free edge. Make sure that C curve is nice and even. Hi, thanks for joining us today. Orlando says, Max, why did you change the buffer color? Because I think pink and purple look pretty versus just boring gray. Don't you? I'm like, Lena, I need to see what I'm doing. Isn't it a beautiful combination? We haven't had gray buffers in a while though. I'm gonna say at least a year. Hi, Sawadee Cobb! Let's remove the dust. Even just like that, they look so pretty, don't they? Do you do you like the squabble nails? This is the first time you wear squabble nails, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so for the color, let's use a pink number one. It's a beautiful color. A semi-sheer nude. Just to give us a nice lip gloss kind of effect. I don't know. I know she's on my sweater. 
But now we just did a prior. Mm -hmm. So let's bake that 30 seconds. And then we're going to use velvet on top. Always remember when using inks, velvet is so essential because it's gonna give you the consistency that is needed for the colors to adhere to, to the nail. And we're going to use lots of purples to that. The raspberry color? So it's gonna be your Valentine's Day nails. Yeah, basically. <laughs> all to the holiday season. A nice coat of velvet on the top surface. And we're gonna cure it for one minute. Oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. Yesterday's video, the design was so lovely. This collection, we really hit it out of the park, you guys. And when you mix it with other existing collections that we have, the possibilities are really, really endless. Okay, now we're going to bake it for one minute to ensure that is completely dry. And we're going to shake up the colors. Remember that the pigment settles at the bottom because the inks are so heavy. Be pigmented. And now we add a little metal balls to the inks so that way they're easier to shake up and disperse the pigments. Mm -hmm. I like that. It makes it easier. And they're not available um, open stock, if somebody asked that too. They're only available in kits. This is the pearl violet, which is more like a raspberry color. It's really pretty. I'm gonna get a Lux brush wipe also. Some acetone, cause you need acetone. Look how matte they are, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? If you want a matte gel, velvet is, without a doubt, number one. Look at that. So stunning. Aren't they dope? Look at that, you can see the design starting to materialize. Now we're gonna use Lilac like Fairy. And look at that, the design literally does itself. So now let's add a little bit. Should we do golden diamond or should we do black magic? Let's do black magic to give it some depth. Evenly. This is a pretty like the pearl eyes. 
perfect way. It really, really is. Looks like you're both in the middle. Now we're going to use White Wizard. I need to shake her up a little bit more. So we have to leave the army. Hi. And he's so stunning. Where are you going, Kelsey Delk? Look at that new eyes, isn't it? Beautiful. Now we're going to use my favorite brush for inks is the Sailor Magic 3D brush. Look at that, how beautiful that is. Put your finger a little bit further down, Lena, so that we don't focus. There we go. And I like it really blended at the cuticle, because that way it'll grow out really nicely. Yeah, and then we have Afterpay available on the website, so you can really splurge and have fun.
。バイバイ。Isn't this ethereal? I think that's the best way to describe this kind of design. And I'm going to add just a little bit of black just to give it some dimension and some depth. So I'm going to use Sailor Magic Detail Brush and a little bit of gel polish 002. Or you can use black painting gel as well, too. And just add a little bit. Black to give it dimension to. I like acetone because it gets the job done faster. No, not today. I'm gonna skedaddle on out with Ignacio. Okay, let's break that. 30 seconds. Realness come through. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to finish with the coat of shiny. That shiny makes her come to life. Castle is beautiful. I'm sorry, Iran, I can't read Spanish. <laughs> There's only so much I can do. Do you like it, Leon? Mm hmm. Messy made it look so easy. It is, it really is. These kinds of designs require like no effort. It's all about having fun and really not overthinking about it too. Because when you overthink inks, that's when it's going to be really muddy and not as fun. Okay, let's bake that one minute. Can be worn till they are taken off. <laughs> that is correct. My nails lasted like weeks. Two months sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Melina's having panic attacks. She's like, they're so grown out. Yeah. Oh, 
because I can't function. <laughs> With her fill like right here. It's like so grown up. I need to do mine too soon. <laughs> Pretty nails for a pretty girl. Oh, that's so sweet. I love the pearlized inks, you guys. They're so beautiful. You can even use them over black, too. And over black, they look really dope. Mm -hmm. The purple. What was that? Like violet. What was it called? What was that? Purple. The purple, or it's lilac fairy and um, violet pearl. I'm going to take a 240 grit file and just hit the sidewalls one more time. Make sure everything is nice and skinny mini. Hello from Colombia. Hi from Colombia. Hello from Ghana. Hi with some cotton candy cuticle oil. Mm, it's so sweet, isn't it? It's actually pineapple. It's made with pineapple. Mm -hmm. It's made with organic pineapple oil. And there we have it, you guys. A very simple, very ethereal looking design using the new pearlized metallic inks. Get some hard light. Oh, see, when you get the hard light, you can really appreciate the depth of the design. It looks really pretty, doesn't it? With the hard light, you can really see all the detail in it. It almost looks layered, doesn't it? Well, my love, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. Don't forget to visit enocouture.com for the best nail products in the world made in America. And check out our brand new pearlized inks from the Aurora Princess Collection. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.